guys, it's Yoti here. I'm back with another LEGO review. This time we have the Titanium Dragon. This is set number 70748, age recommended for 7 to 14. And I got this for £31.99 at Smith's because it was reduced to, it was like half price. But anyway, let's have a look at the back of the box. There's loads of playability here. And um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, as always, first off we're going to have a look at the minifigures. So, first off we have Titanium Zane, and this is a very great figure to get back. It's nice to have Zane in his titanium form, and um, first off I'm going to show you his face with his mask on, which I like, and also this kind of has like a little PXL to represent pixel inside him and um, also this is him without his mask on so it's kind of interchangeable faces and then if I just remove the head we get the heart piece on the back of him I don't know why they did that but if somebody does know please tell me in the comments but yeah Zane is a great figure to have back of course he'd come back so next up we have Klaus, which is Chen's assistant, and I like all the printing on him, and like all the special details. And then also, he has a secondary face, which is kind of like he might be casting a spell or something, because some of you may know he uses dark magic. But anyway, next final minifigure we have here is a Chopry, Chopry or Chopra or whatever you want to call him. So, I like the um, the chess piece that they use here. Kind of reminds me from Zugu. And um, he's got the Alacondre sword. And yeah. Now I'm just going to remove that so you can see the back printing. Not much, but it's worth kind of the piece here. But anyway, that's all the minifigures. Let's move that aside. First we're going to come and have a look at the miniature bad guys side here and it's quite small, it's kind of like a couple stickers here to see the anaconda. There's a torch here and then there's kind of like a key. I don't know what the key's for, if anyone does know please tell me in the comments because I thought the key was to free Zane but I'm not sure because I'm thinking too much about the series. But if we have a look on the back, there's a couple weapons here that you can use. And then there's also this launcher here. I'm just going to use the box as a shield, as you will. And then all you do is... That went straight over! Okay, I will find that later. But anyway, that kind of flick launcher thing. And it's just two chains connected to two green studs. And then for the Titanium Dragon, this is a really nice dragon and I really do like it because of all the insignificant little details in there like the tiny little bags here, the, the gems and I think this tail piece is new, I've never seen it before but it looks super cool. And um, then there's the little passenger seat for Zane and then the kind of mouth and everything and then there's also a couple stickers not many but I really do like this and a bit of articulation in the arms well in the front legs and in the back as well and this would be a really nice piece to add to someone's collection the wings do move like that way and then they, they move kind of like in every which way just got to be careful with them I suggest and then the flag is only one-sided unfortunately but I guess if you wanted to do something you could just turn it around like that or something just go wild I guess and yeah I really do like this there's probably one thing I should probably state I really do like this I do obviously but I feel like they could have added like a little bit more silver to it because I think it's more silver in the series but oh well, at least it'll do. Might use a little bit of tweaking but I like it. But anyway, this
this was the Titanium Dragon. If you want to see any more of my Ninjago reviews, go check them out. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!